Hello, monsters abound here, and welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms, Eight Princes, and part eight of my Sima UA campaign. Ah, oh, it's so nice, it's so pretty this game. And the music's so nice. I can just I can just sit here just watching all these little little people digging away. I mean they're never gonna make a hole though, are they? Truly their existence is completely worthless. Still. In the meantime, we've got their salt mine. That's right, we've got a salt mine. Sima UA is there. I'm thinking maybe we get some get our proper axe boys, because like we've got some. Let's let's get the raiders. Yes. Do I I don't have enough money for an upgrade. Right. Where are the neck upgraded boys? Where are they? Warriors of, of Shu? I take it. Well what, what do we need to do that? Acquired level six. Okay, we get one more level. What level is he? Do is what must be done. I, I will. I'm, I want to level you up. Uh, where is your level? Military? Relations? Somewhere? Okay, where's your... Where? Where? What? Where? Where? What? Where's... Your... There we go. Okay, there we go. Found it. Okay, it's actually pretty close. Like, I knew I'd, like, seen a number somewhere, but what do I hover over to find it? Like, literally anything would have been the answer. I hover over anything and it gives me the number. Anywho... That's fine. So, right, we've got, got some recruiting going on. That's fine. We're going to declare war on the Jin Empire, which might be a really bad idea. But we're going to do it anyway, because sometimes doing bad ideas is the only way forward. The other option is we, we could, like, you know, maybe try and get, like, a military... Welcome. Come in. Because he quite likes me. I could actually, like, just changing, changing tracks here, is maybe try and, like, buy... Can we buy some territory off you? Like, could I... Po Yang. I could maybe buy Po Yang off you? Po Yang. Like, something like that? If I could buy that off them. If I got... If I, wait. Oh, I, oh, I've got a better idea now. I've got a new plan. It's fine, everyone. We'll have to take on the Jin Empire. Screw that. They're too strong at the moment. We need more territory, so we're going to buy it. That's right. We're going to be... We're entering the estate management game. Yes, that's right. We're going to go and buy up property. We're property moguls now. That's it, everyone. That's that's how we're going to win this campaign. Land. By buying and selling land. By by selling land, I mean buying buying land. Okay, good. So, what we are going to do is we're going to take this fishing port. Now, while we're doing that, I'm going to leave Sal Su here. Now, Sal Su obviously was a, was a spy. He, he was a dirty traitor, but we've forgiven him. Um, also, uh, Zhao Shaotain was also a spy. So basically, this army, if if if, if Ji Ningxu turns out to be a spy, then I might just march this army into the sea. Because frankly, my 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 judge on personality is is appalling. I've managed to pick. I'm, I don't even have that many people. I've managed to pick out two spies. You want a labor recruiter? Um, all right. This has been very encouraging. Well, glad glad you're encouraged. You you carry on, buddy. Join the war against the Jin Empire. Oh, lots of oh oh oh. Okay, well, I, I guess Sima Zhong heard about my plan to be a um a property mogul and went <laughs> no. And so apparently we're now going to be at war with the Jin Empire. Um, great. Can I reject? Is that going to annoy people? Who's that going to annoy? Uh, if I reject, it's going to help with Simaloon. It's Rouge. I don't really care about that. Jin Empire. It, oh, no. I, I can't reject. Basically, it's going... No, you, you don't have a choice here. So I can accept it and get bigger bonuses or reject it and just get... Right. <sighs> okay. So if I accept and we go to war, then my allies will like me more. My allies will still like me a little bit more here. <sighs> oh, all oh, right. Yes, I know. Why not benefit us both? Ah, oh, you bastard! I had a plan for all of about thirty seconds. I had a fucking plan. It wasn't a bad plan either. Normally, mine are awful, but this one was actually okay, as plans go. Okay. The patient technician, one of our greatest thingy players, challenges your general. The match goes on for many hours, and though their opponent displays a high level of skill, the general's careful patience is enough to sustain victory. So apparently he's happy he's beaten us, the bastard. 
Not the time healer, I'm in a bad mood. Okay, we, we could have people approaching from every direction, so let's... Well, I mean, the north less so, right? Because, like, they... How do you feel about the Jin Empire? You don't like the Jin Empire, so to be honest, the Jin Empire probably won't come through your territory. So we've really only got to worry, I feel like we've only got to worry about the south. That could be, you know, an error, but let's assume that's the case. So let's move down here. We're going to head towards the livestock farm. We're going to move um, you over towards the toolmaker. Something like that. Um, I'm going to leave the fish. I think we're okay in the fishing port. The copper mine has some defenses. The city is got walls, so we're fine there. Salt mine's okay. Farmland, we kind of want to upgrade, don't we? Do you want to upgrade the farmland? I'm thinking we probably do. Just to be on the safe side. So let's do that. Okay. This is this this is this is fine. This this is I don't like how long the Jin Empire's turn takes. Okay, I think we, we You would not need fear us. I Okay. We have come to terms. I like it when people give me money for non-aggression pacts when I'm at war with the most powerful empire. I mean at least at least I've got friends in this war, right? At least at least we've got some allies. The Empress, like a creeping vine, has wrapped around and choked the Emperor. Jesus, that's a bit kinky. Her tyranny cannot continue, so now you've uh, declared yourself in open revolt. The only option now is to march on the capital and free the Emperor from the clutches of his wife. Faction destroyed. Semaru. Okay, sure. Semaru joined a war alongside... Okay, good. Heroes aid. You single. Uh, you read a report about one of your generals who beat six enemies and single-handedly largely due to the courage, speed, and loyalty of their horse. The hero has always been something blah, 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 blah. Chance of gaining a salute. Fine. What do we get? A clay... What? How... What? Um, what? Okay, apparently we've got a clay cup and that's going to lead us to victory. All hail the clay cup. Offer tea and you offer... Well, I do like tea. So... That's good. Maybe I, you've currently got a stone rooster. Do you want to carry the cup, the holy grail, the cup of tea? You get the cup of tea. Good stuff. You get the cup of tea. And you can have the rooster or the clayfish. No, nope, no. Nope. The cup will go to Sal Su, once a traitor, now potentially the hero of our age. He carries the cup. And with the cup, he shall be victorious, potentially, assuming the cup is somehow magical and doesn't just contain tea. Because if it just contains tea, it's a bit shit. However... Um, I kind of got enough influence. I feel like like our influence is a bit of a weird beast in that we can't really spend it. So I, I think wasn't influence um, Sal Sal's sort of trait in that he could use it to spend on um, getting people to declare war on each other. But we, we don't spend it. We just literally acquire it and get extra bonuses. So at some point, influence is not going to be useful. I don't think we can do anything, can we? Negotiate. Well met, friend. Diplomatic treaties. Oh, we can. Holy shit. There's me thinking I can't do anything. In fact, yes, I can. Uh, use them to uh, the attitude towards another. Okay. That's good. I didn't. Well, okay. Well, to be honest, I think the bonuses at the moment are probably... There's me going, oh, I think Salsa had something you can spend it on. I don't. It's not very useful, but actually it is pretty useful. And I just didn't realise what I was doing, as per fucking usual. I kind of feel like getting a garrison here would be quite useful. But should I? We've got farmland here. I mean, farmland. Do we need farmland? What does farmland say to me? Income from commerce, come from... I mean, yeah, we could go to the private workshops. We could go to the marketplace. That would give me trade influence. Lots of income from commerce, which I'm kind of... Seeing as our only income from here is commerce, I feel like boosting commerce is probably the best option. The other option is we get some peasantry income. So currently we've got... 210 commerce... So actually, I think getting the land development is actually going to be a better option. So let's do... Oh my god, we are running out of money. Okay. Okay. Let's 
not no we don't want to stimulate markets here do we, we want to stimulate markets which ha no we do want to stimulate markets here why are we making fuck all money 100 well we're making more money than that weren't we oh is that because of my trade do you want to do you want to trade deal Negotiate. Yes. I'd forgotten about that. Oh, screw it. Your proposal is sound. Good. Now, Shania Twain's not going to be happy with that, but frankly, he can suck it. I'm pretty sure I was making more... Okay, we're making money here. Hang on. From lots from industry, and we're making some from commerce here. Not as much as I think. Okay, well, let's, let's stimulate markets. Let's get doing here. Can stimulate our markets any day. I'm gonna go grab that tool maker. I'm going to hope. Can we just like peace out with you? Because you know what? Our patience is thin. Yeah, mine too. Okay, I can actually, I actually can peace out with you. So can I request some money? Give me all your money, and I will make peace with you. Promise. Yeah, not that I'm desperate or anything, but uh, sure. As you wish. Thank you. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is going. This is going fine. Attack! We're gonna head down. To, we're gonna grab the light. We're gonna get. We're gonna blitzkrieg them. That's what we're gonna do. Blitzkrieg the shit out of them. This is gonna go great. Assuming they don't counterattack. If they counterattack, I'm in trouble. But I do have a spy in the Jin Empire. Oh, they've got a lot of armies. But. Oh, some of their armies are quite far away. I mean, their, 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 their territory is quite spread out. So we might be able to make some quick early gains and then use that to sort of capitalise and get more armies. A toast. You are at a feast and the celebratory libations have flowed like water. After some time, you're called upon to make a toast. There are so many things which you could honour. The Emperor... Um, what, what's the best option? Wealth, um, might, okay. What about spirit? Yeah. I'm thinking we go, uh, the, no, the emperor. The emperor? Mm, that's quite far away. We could go wealth. Don't know if that's worth the effort, though. We're going to get that in, in time. So, is that really worth the effort? We could go might. So, just like cheer myself. Bit of a dick move, isn't it? Still, that's what we're going to do. Yep. You toasted yourself because who else deserves to be toast, a toast but you? Exactly. That's why I always. Oh, hello. Absolutely not. Oh, my God. You've got heavy repeating crossbows. That's That doesn't look good. That's not a good look. What if we, Nothing like, scooch into the forest and maybe try an ambush? What level are you? Can't see. Still, if we can get that ambush... What the hell? Are, oh, yellow... They've got yellow dragons? Oh, God. It's bad times. The path is clear. Okay. Let's get a move on. Strike Gonna hit one. that toolmaker. Maybe we'll draw this army south. So they do have a trebuchet. They've got these these heavy repeating crossbows. Are quite short range from what I remember. Yeah, they're only a hundred range. Never yield. So we'll probably be okay. But the fact they've got a lot more armies and also better quality troops is not the best option. Okay, they've actually run off. I don't know where they've gone. Spy? Oh. They felt... Com oh, for fuck's sake. Is it because you couldn't find any cows? <sighs> it's so hard to find good spies these days. Good God. Okay. Fine. Bloody hell. Okay, let's go and take... The oh my God, that's, that's an army there. That's an army. Could we maybe... Keep to the shade and preserve strength. 
Towards victory. I don't know if this is close enough. For China. Okay, let's go and grab the livestock farm. Let fury explode and okay, that's going to be a nice, easy, easy grab. And I think that enemy army marched away rather than. Um, rewarded our passion. Rather than what am I trying to say? We'll rather than just just normal stance it. So let's upgrade that to get some extra troops there. Oh god, there's another army there as well. Okay, we didn't take much damage though. So if they do counterattack, we're probably okay. I say probably, this this could be, you know, a very short campaign. Um not too bothered about that. Not too bothered about that. Minus two mustering times. That could be quite nice. Minus 20% run for agriculture. Okay. Plus 10% income from commerce. Yeah, we do need we do need mo money. Mo money, mo problems. Do I upgrade you? 90%? No, you're, no, 90 income even? No, I think you're right. Uh, would, just in case we lose some territory, having upgraded farms will help. Okay. This army... Jeez, i got some good units here. But I think we'll be okay. Glory awaits. What do you want me Join to... Simar... Sima Yao, who? Him? Um, he's kind of bordering my territory, so I'm going to say no. Curious, but acceptable. Is it curious? I mean, I don't mind if you want to try and kill him. Knock yourself out, but I'm kind of busy with the Jin Empire, just FYI. Oh no! Sima Lun, watch out behind you! Okay, you, uh, Sima Yao has died, apparently. You, oh my goodness, there's another army over there. You've recruited a whole bunch of units. And you've got reinforcements. Okay, traits gained. Sima Ki is philanthropic. Oh, that's nice. He is, is he my useless son? Is he my useless son? Where is he? Sima Ki. Or is he just someone with the Sima name and is not actually... I don't, I don't think he's actually... No, he's not my idiot son. I've got an idiot daughter. She's only eight. Fair enough. Um, apparently Sima Ki is philanthropic. Good good stuff. Don't really think that's very useful, but fine. Uh, Jao Shoutain and Sima Yu are friends. Well, thanks for the update. Whole bunch of people there. Our spy has come back because she's friggin... You know, what, is, is, hang on. Is our spy here? G. G. You are literally the worst spy. I'm just gonna just go away. Renewal and revival has sprung. Literally the worst. Just absolutely the worst spy I've ever had. I've had some bloody brilliant spies, and she's not one of them. Absolute with conviction and garbage. I wonder if I threaten. It's farmland. I wonder if I can make the empire starve. They're poor in food. I wonder if I go for the other farm, whether that's going to be enough to, like, starve them. I mean, it's unlikely. Is that farmland part of it as well? Plus the toolmaker, plus the town. So basically, we're currently conquering the right oh, terrace. Now, you... You can move quite far, which is a problem. China, I could run in and kill you. The garrison for the toolmaker, as people have pointed out. Okay. They don't have any archers, which is... Stay fixed! Which is generally actually fine. They've just got the towers, but I can deal with those. No. You've got a couple of archers. So you've got four archers, and that's it. 
Impossible. The problem is, I will take casualties fighting that army and then have to fight this army Not potentially. Possible. And that is going to be tricky, Steel even at full battle. strength. I refuse. So either I go for this, I don't, don't, I, cleave with sword. I just don't think it's possible. I'm just going to stay there. I'm going to threaten their farms and see if I can starve them out. If we can we starve them out, and should ally. you want to invite to coalition. Who do you want to invite? Xiong Xing Zhang. Oh, well, well, Sima Zhong's getting on with her. Um, I kind of get on with her. All right. Your wisdom reveals a kindred spirit. Thanks, but you look a little bit smug. To be honest, anyone who wants to join our war against the Jin Empire, I say the more the merrier. Let's get everyone in here. Let's, let's you know, get a big group hug. Bring it in, everyone. And then let's kick the shit out of the Jin Empire. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of armies. I was hoping there wouldn't be many armies, but there's fucking tons of them. I was like, maybe they're all out to the west. And that'll be okay. But no, no, there's so many, so many. Okay. None of that particularly matters to you at the moment. Apparently, Jiao Shoutan and Sao Su are getting friendly. Well, that's nice, but... Shit. Caution. Douse is the heart's desire. Impossible. Okay, we could go and grab this let's True. grab this farmland. Because that might commence. be enough. This shows much potential. Might be enough to make them start. Oh my god, they've got so because they've got ten armies in total, right? So why the fuck are half of them here? What possible reason? Like they're spread out so far. Oh, so many of them. Oh god, this is this 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 is not this this is not what I was expecting. I was expecting like limited resistance, and maybe we could then jump individual armies. And it would be fine. This is not what I expected. I shall not waver. I mean, I could grab the toolmaker, but then you could hit me. I cannot. Tell you what, we're going to do. We're going to hit the toolmaker. Victory belongs to us. Right. We're going to fight this. We're going to take as limited casualties as possible, and then we're going to run like the clappers. Ah, oh, I love the smell of burning watchtower. I mean, they may as well just be bonfires at this point. Just build a big bonfire, stick an archer on top, job done. That's your watchtower. Because watchtowers were never particularly difficult to deal with, in my opinion. Once you had fire arrows, they were basically just tinder. Not the dating app. Although, in some cases, that is like being in a house on fire. So that, that, that you know, is fine. So all the watchtowers are alight, which is good. And the enemy army doesn't have archers of their own, but they do have a lot of saber cavalry and sword infantry. So they're going to be pretty tanky against our archers, but we're going to do as much damage as possible. In the trees to the north, we've got our horses just waiting to advance. So we've got some undefended towers here. Once our infantry has engaged, we're going to move our horses in through this entrance here and hit the rear of the enemy army, hopefully breaking them. Now... This battle is going to be fairly straightforward, but what happens after this battle, that, that's what kind of is, is in the balance, because there's quite a few enemy armies just milling about, and I don't have the troops or the armies to deal with them. This is what it must have felt like at the end of my Martun campaign for, for the factions that are at war with me, just the inoperable sort of march of my armies towards them, and there's literally nothing they can do. It was like being in front of an avalanche. Um, now I know what that feels like, and it's not a good feeling. I don't like it. 
So watch us now in range. We're going to lay down some fire onto the enemy forces, defending the uh, the little passes, entrances into the towns. It's going to rain arrows down on them. There we go. It's not going to do a huge amount of damage, but as you can see, it is you know whittling them down quite nicely. That's not too bad. Obviously, we, we don't have a huge amount of ammo. Um, so this isn't going to, you know, do do super do. Super do? Super good? Super good? Super do. It's not going to do super do, that's for sure. Safe militia getting cut down. We've got some more Sabre infantry moving into position here. Yeah, 50% uh, missile resistance across the board. Uh, 45 there for the infantry captain. So we're doing about half the damage, realistically, that we should be doing. But it's it's not the worst. We're getting some kills in there. The archers are are doing some good work. Eight kills, thirteen kills, we six, sixty-four kills there. That's pretty good. So we're gonna split up our army, three of our axe guys heading to one entrance, and three more to the other. Helen leading one force, Sima Yue leading the other, and Guan there backing us up as well. Bloody Guan, the best, the best. The best strategist in the world, as far as I'm aware. So we've got some cavalry here. Now, obviously, what is nice is that our infantry currently have charge negates, uh, which is, if we have a look here, this ability, yeah, negates the charge bonus of the attacker, which means if they get charged by cavalry, then the cavalry are going to do fuck all to them, basically. They're not going to get the charge reflect. Like, this guy is carrying his, um, his lantern, and he had quite a few arrows buried in him, which is impressive stuff. That's real work ethic there. So, if the enemy cavalry charge our, our raiders, they're going to do no damage, realistically, on the charge, which, of course, is what cavalry need. They need to charge. Of course, if they get charged in the front, you charge them in the rear or the sides, or when they're not braced, then obviously they're going to do the same amount of damage that any cavalry would. But they won't reflect the damage. So what will happen is the cavalry will bump up against them, and then nothing will happen, which is pretty much, you know, that, that I'm fine with that. The other nice thing is that the AI doesn't expect your infantry to have charge negate so the cavalry will charge their front they just don't care they'll just go ahead and do it and uh, nothing will happen but of course that means that'll bog the enemy cavalry down and that means um, we can then engage them on our terms because of course once the cavalry have used their charge bonus cavalry aren't actually that good it's all about charge bonus with the cavalry which is uh, to be expected okay so we've got the infantry captain here these guys are slightly uh, better units than the base in come our raiders and our raiders should be able to get some work done here so let's have a look at what the damage is so yeah you can see the numbers of the infantry captain dropping rapidly it's doing doing quite well they're good work guys at 27 kills already over the other entrance we're gonna send uh Sima ua in because commanders are pretty good against enemy cavalry because the enemy cavalry they, they can't really get a surround in and your your officer can can kill three or four at a go. So it, it's actually the officers tend to be a real problem for cavalry to deal with. I think if I was going to play another, um, obviously I will play more Three Kingdoms. I might do records mode instead, just because there seems to be some bugs with the dueling at the moment, and I feel like maybe playing without the duels until that's fixed might be the better option. So the raiders are now in combat. We've got sort of lots of dead bodies here at the entrance to the town. That's looking pretty good. Helen charging in, doing some damage there. We are slowly grinding our way through the infantry captain there. We've still got two fresh units waiting in the wings, waiting to do stuff. And the enemy, uh, not the enemy cavalry, our cavalry are now coming out of the forest. There they are. Charging over the open ground. They will take some hits from the enemy towers, but it shouldn't be too bad. And then once they're in the town itself, they will be able to sort of lock down some of these units in the back, get some charges on these rear units. We can get a charge in on this captain. They will instantly break. They will not like it. Axe band and raiders moving in. These raiders are taking a lot of... They're taking quite a bit of damage, but they're also dishing it out. 65 kills, just grinding through the infantry. Enemy cavalry. It's dusty, it's dirty, it's dark, it's bloody work. Look at this. Looking pretty good. Sima Yue's in here somewhere, just chopping his way through through idiots. He's up to 30 kills himself. Nice work. He Lun has been doing quite well, actually. Up to 22 kills. Not too bad. He's been right in the midst of the action and uh, not taking too much damage. Mind you, 
he, he does have good armor and these guys are not very armor piercing so uh, that's not, not doing too badly our cavalry now inside the city there we go they come through the the gates took a little bit of damage but not too much we're going to engage the saber cavalry who seem to just be kind of like ignoring these guys maybe they can't believe that there's enemies in the town i don't know but they're going to take a nasty charge in the in the flank there that's not going to work out very well for them our cavalry now charging down here we've got a few units to deal with um, but two of them infantry and not 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 yeah they just get run over absolute carnage we've managed to break into the city in the upper gates to the south though it's slightly more problematic they're throwing more and more units into the breach we've thrown more all of our units in as well we've got guan there she's helping debuff the enemy what we need to do is lock down all these units take them out especially the cavalry we don't want cavalry behind us so we need to lock those down with our cavalry we need to bring Helun and our infantry down some of our cavalry tried to get a charge in. We managed to pull them back at the last second because we didn't particularly want that. And here come some of our raiders. They're going to come down and help out. Some of our raiders are going to help with our cavalry chop down the enemy saber cavalry. It really does, doesn't it? Yep. So we're going to get a lovely cavalry charge on the rear here. Helun's going in first. And... Then our cavalry hits them just before they form up. Absolutely brutal. That unit almost instantly breaks. And our raiders manage to form up just as cavalry comes in. Of course, they've got the charge negate, so... Bump. As you can see, doesn't actually do that much damage. And then we start chopping them down. They're going to break more of our, inf of our cavalry units now moving down to help out one of the cavalry unit enemy cavalry units has managed to get away but they're too far away to really help out now and it's literally just a mop-up operation cavalry charging down into the last few units uh, we've just got one infantry captain left but here comes the cavalry literally smashing into the flank shattering the enemy army and we've managed to wipe out the garrison with limited casualties which is a step in the right direction but we're going to need a few more steps maybe even break into a jog okay so in general that was fine exactly we are going to sack and withdraw this place holds little else for us. That that is correct. Right, and then we run. My blade is poised. Absolutely not. What do you mean absolutely not? Leg it. Leg it. No. Oh, you may not be far enough away. Are you marching? Can't tell. Are you marching? Please be marching. You guys are marching. And you can only just about blade reach me. Poised. So hopefully we can get away. In the meantime, let's get um, fire arrows aren't really going to be that useful. Nobility plus 20% range block chance. Now these guys already have 65, so that feels pretty good. Let's do that. And then you've got 85, just, just base 85 missile resistance. Right, we're going to leg it. Now, that does mean we've got, you know, big money unfortunately we can't spend it on an army because we can't upkeep it so that's that 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 that's slightly system we don't have any more build oh well can upgrade this can upgrade you piss off some nobles i'm gonna be honest at this point the nobles can stuff it up their ass all right so i'm gonna say uh princess pay could send you to dong hai to what where where am i making the most money uh no not that one that one okay so we're making the most money in jin yi down here so let's get princess pay to do her income from all sources there so that'll help with the the money i could upgrade this oh we don't have tea so does that mean 160 
shit, yeah, we lose all the bonuses from having tea. That's not good. That's why our money suddenly drops. <sighs> shit. Where's t where, where can I find tea? Oh, tea. See, you need tea. If you don't have tea, what's the point in life? Okay, I'm going to have to... I changed these to tea, didn't I? I'm going to have to convert all of these to turn them into um, normal, just guest houses. We don't have tea anymore. Someone comes to the guest house to say, can I have some tea? And we're like, no, we're out of tea. We used to have tea. There's no tea here anymore. Well, that's disappointing. Okay, let's let's switch those around, get those upgrading, do all that kind of good stuff. I say good stuff, obviously it's bad because we don't have any tea anymore. But that will hopefully give us some extra income to deal with the fuck ton of armies that apparently have been deposited on our doorstep. Thank you very much, Shania Twain. You complete twat. Great. Okay, toolmaker's on fire. That's something. Uh, I could, you know what? Let's just fucking downgrade. Screw it. Scorched earth. Does the Jin Empire? Not today. Yes, yes. Talk. They're food poor. I don't know if that means they've got no food. Hopefully, maybe, maybe if we, you know, pull enough armies away from the front in the north, maybe our allies can 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 do some... some no, they're incompetent bastards. We're screwed. We're, we're doomed. I've never felt like this. I, I, I've always felt like I've got, you know, some way out in a campaign. There's always something I can do that's going to give me the edge. Here, I'm like, I've got nothing. I've got literally nothing I can do. I dicked myself over the minute I joined with Shania Twain. Look, there's another army down there as well. He's got heavy G infantry. He's got, you know, repeating crossbows. What do I have? Steel for battle. I've, I've still got a... Oh, he, oh no. This is, this, oh, how many armies have they got? One, two. Right, they've got one, two, three. Right. One, two, three, four. Five armies just here. I've got two. If I can't break them apart, they're just going to roll over me and there's nothing I can do about it. Hold the center. That's... What if I escape? What if I make a daring... Sima Yu, Yu A leads, leads a, a daring escape to the south where he hides out on, a, on an island. Do we go and hide on an island and hope that the Jinnabite can't chase us down? Leave Shania Twain and the rest of them to get fucked. Like, just do that. Just go on for a run. I don't know. That could well be the only option I've got at this point. Remain firm. Because the family estates will just about pay for Sima Yue's army-ish. Give or take. We could sack some stuff along the way as we head southward. And, you know, make a new life for ourselves on an island somewhere could be an option i don't know let me know what you think in the comments uh but but for this episode that that's where i'm gonna leave it so thank you very much for watching this complete another disaster and i'll see you next time